Let's practice some limit problems here. First strategy for limits is to substitute. But when you plug in 3 in the denominator, 3 squared would be 9, minus 3 would be 6, 6 minus 6 would be 0. So we can't divide by 0 in math. So before you write no limit, try some techniques that you understand. So tickle tickle, we can factor. x plus 3, x minus 3 is called difference of squares factoring. And the bottom is called trinomial factoring, which you learned in previous math. And we're going to say minus 3 plus 2 would be correct. And notice how the x minus 3s, they cancel. And now we can substitute 3 into here and also up here. So when you substitute 3, 3 plus 3 is going to be 6 over 3 plus 2 would be 5. So that's the answer. Let's get to memorize this base function, absolute value of x. It looks like the letter v. And so the limit as x approaches 0, what is the y value? The y value is 0. So the limit is 0. By the way, even though there's a hole here, the limit would still be 0. The limit, you can have an answer even though the actual point is not defined. It's just what, what the y value is tending towards as you become very, very close. Now this one here, there is a proof as to why the answer is going to be 1. But for the sake of just understanding or memorizing as a script, it's good to know that this is y equals 1. There's going to be a hole here. And this is like a water pond. It's like dropping a, a rock into a water. And it ripples down. And if you memorize what this graph looks like, these limit problems are pretty easy. But there's a hole here because you're dividing by 0. So even though there's a hole here, if you use Desmos, the y value would be 1. If we were to change this question, what's the limit as x approaches either positive or negative infinity of f of x? This here is f. The answer would be 0. It's The y value is dying down to the right as well as to the left. Now let's focus on this last question. This is another base function hopefully you memorized. You know the 1 over x graph looks like this, but the 1 over x squared graphs flips upwards because you can't have a negative number when something is squared. So as you can see this graph here as you approach 0 from the left and right it's tending towards positive infinity. So if you're given a multiple choice between positive or negative infinity choose positive because this graph is going upwards.